Hello, today we're gonna be transforming this cabinet and giving it some rattan doors, painting it. This is the Ikea cabinet before anything's happened to it. I think it's like the Ivar or Ivar? Oh, Ivar. Ivar. Yeah, it'll be in there. Elliot found some custom legs on eBay that will link below. I feel like they actually go really well because they're untreated as well. So we'll be able to leave them as they are or paint them or whatever. So the idea is we've got paper that we're gonna cut some templates out of and we're gonna stick it on, see what kind of shape that we like. And once we found a shape that works, we will cut it out with a jigsaw and kind of see if we can get some rattan in there and get it going. The rattan has arrived. I was expecting it to be bigger, but I guess it's not very wide, is it? So. Okay, ready? So both pieces have now been cut out. So this is the other piece. And now we're just putting it on here to see what it will look like. So this is the template this way round um, with the Ds facing inwards. And it's not super keen on them this way round. I actually don't mind it, but we're gonna try it with the Ds facing outwards to see what that looks like as well. Not so weird. What? My brain is at ease now. Like, <laughs> what? It stressed you out yeah. being the other way around? Literally, I don't know why. Because you're a mathematician, probably. Isn't it's like, you? it doesn't, it's like, it's like, a, you know, if you've got a puzzle and you've got a piece in the wrong place. Yeah. That's what it felt like. So for me, you prefer the other way. I'm looking at this now yeah. and it's, it's giving lungs. Lungs. Like, I'm just seeing lungs but in this remember, direction. It's not going to be big white pieces of paper. I know, but it still makes me feel like lungs. Okay. Or the inside of an orange. Gives you lungs. I think that it's too big. I think that the cutout is too big. I don't think this is gonna hold up. I think that's too, no I think you need to, I think we need to give more. More space. Space, unfortunately. That's fine, we can do that. We're trying to nail this shape. Do you think it's working? No. What did you say it looked like, this one? I think it looks like lungs. Okay. And the other and one... And it likes it, but I, mm. it's giving me love. No, I don't like it. I just think it's better. The previous one made me feel sick when I looked at it. And like the, the, the curves on the on the rounded bits weren't quite matching and it was just very, made me very queasy. Okay, that's very dramatic, but we move. Well, you said they look like lungs, so... <laughs> I don't know who is more dramatic. <laughs> We're both as dramatic as each other, so it's fine. So I'm just looking now on Pinterest to see if we can find some examples with the doors that we have. This is a kind of model that we were looking at before, but the problem is these doors are wider, so you get wider Ds, and I feel like that looks better. Because our doors are narrower, they look more like this. I'm wondering, we could either do a shape like that or we could still have the Ds but kind of compress them a little bit so they're not so big. Cool. So this is a final template that we've gone for. So now we've got the jigsaw. I'm gonna start cutting everything out and hopefully it's, uh, it's all gonna go okay.
You ready? So this morning I went to get some paint for the cabinets. The one that I'm leaning towards is this brushed gold. It's by Dulux, it's one of their heritage colours. So I kind of just got like a range of different ones and thought we could just try them out and see what works. These doors have dried and I can confirm I love the colour. I'm a massive fan. It's like a brushed gold vibe but basically it's yellow but it's like a nice muted yellow and i i love it i really really like it so yeah the next plan for this is i'm going to prime the cupboards i'm going to prime the top and the sides and then once that's done i'm just gonna paint it really The doors are done. Still need to tidy this up, I think. I might cut a bit more. We just need to attach them now to the cabinet. Because this house basically barely had any storage in it, we've had to kind of make all the storage from scratch. Um, and I think one of the things that comes with that is organization in the storage, because you can make a cabinet, but it can still be a mess inside, which is what it's been like for, for ages now. So what we're hoping is we can organize inside the cabinet so there's more of a system, so things aren't stressful and it's a bit more cohesive. Here is the final cabinet. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I love the colour so much and the rattan. I think it looks really nice in the space overall, so very happy with it. If you'd like to keep up to date with future home videos, music, DIYs and everything in between, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.